A stunning shift is unfolding in the battery world. CL, the global leader in lithium batteries, has dropped a bombshell. Nearly half of the future battery market could be powered not by lithium, but by sodium. That's the twist. Because if anyone should be championing lithium, it's CL. Yet, the biggest name in lithium production is now betting big on an alternative. And that alone tells us lithium's dominance may not be as unshakable as once believed. Sodium ion batteries bring a lot to the table. Performance that rivals lithium at a fraction of the cost with salt being far more abundant and accessible. It's no wonder CL and others are pushing toward mass production. But the big question hangs in the air. Will sodium truly spark the next energy revolution? Or will it forever remain in lithium's shadow? CL isn't just another player. It's the undisputed giant holding nearly 40% of the global market as of 2023. With that kind of influence, their vision of the future isn't just speculation. It's a roadmap the industry takes seriously. In a headline-making interview with Reuters in late 2024, CL co-founder Robin Zen flipped the script on battery hire. Instead of backing solid state as the next big thing, he doubled down on sodium ion, boldly predicting it could capture up to half of the market CL already dominates. And this isn't just torque. CL has already cracked the code on integrating sodium batteries into its innovative hybrid packs blending lithium and sodium cells to stretch the range of electric vehicles further than ever before. The sodium future isn't coming someday, it's already starting to roll out. Such a breakthrough is particularly notable considering that the fundamental drawback of sodium is its lower energy density. Something that typically means heavier and bulkier battery configuration. Because every gram and millimeter matter in EV design, such an accomplishment signifies excellent technical progress. From this achievement, CL continues to reinforce its technological breakthroughs. The company is preparing to roll out its second-generation sodium battery in the latter part of this year with an energy density of over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. While this is still below today's standard of 300 watt-hours per kilogram for the best lithium-ion batteries, it is a marked improvement from its predecessor's 160 watt-hours per kilogram and forcefully illustrates substantial technological advancement. But you know, CL isn't alone in this revolution. Other firms around the world are also racing to boost sodium ion battery production capacity, positioning themselves for what appears to be an inevitable mass-scale market shift. The question is therefore whether or not sodium batteries really are the future of battery science and if so, what specific hope Robin Zen and the industry in general have for this new technology. Because while lithium continues to dominate the spotlight, sodium is quietly checking every box that matters cost, abundance, safety, and scalability. So, what exactly makes this humble element such a strong contender in the battery race? The underlying principles of sodium ion batteries are a very basic technological breakthrough. The novel power storage units bear a remarkable resemblance to their lithium-based counterparts, sharing the same structural characteristics and reflecting the architecture of conventional lithium ion batteries. They also possess the same magnitude of round-trip efficiency factors, ensuring that the delivered energy is very much a replica of the input energy at startup cycles. Yet this extremely significant technological advancement is not entirely devoid of inherent limitations. Sodium ion batteries possess a lower energy density than their lithium ion counterpart. This particular aspect has until now restricted their everyday application across numerous industries and fields. An apt question still lingers however, why has the battery industry been taking such great interest in the development of sodium ion technology when it is only nearly as good as the most widely utilized lithium-based options and still carries performance shortfalls that cannot be overlooked? A good reason that first comes to mind is sodium itself, an element with many qualities and characteristics more than worthy of admiration. Its excellent abundance can readily be observed in the sheer quantities that exist in the vast expanses of the world's oceans. Also, the process used for sodium harvesting is much more accessible and environmentally friendly, negating the destructive and catastrophic mining techniques currently adopted to harvest lithium and other precious metallic elements. On the other hand, bankruptcy proceedings always affect stakeholder trust and raise serious questions regarding underlying business realities. The question now is whether this development is merely an exercise in financial maneuvering or represents more basic structural issues within the firm. With energy density concerns and falling lithium prices tilting the scales, could this be a bubble waiting to burst? Or are we simply watching the painful early steps of a revolution in the making? 
Sodium ion batteries represent an interesting technological frontier in the rapidly evolving electric vehicle landscape. While industry titans CL, BYD, and Natron are at the forefront, my skepticism regarding their short-term viability in EV applications is unflappable. The root issue is energy density, a critical metric where sodium ion batteries consistently trail lithium batteries with much lower power-to-weight ratios. The economic dynamics behind the production of sodium ion batteries present an interesting paradox. Even though they incorporate more affordable materials in their manufacture, the batteries themselves have a higher cost per unit of stored energy due to their lower energy density. Even though the differential cost that lower cost componentry produces will presumably even out eventually, things are currently quite different. On top of this, the recent sharp 70% fall in lithium prices over the past three years driven by oversupply has seriously undermined the economic case for sodium ion technology. More recent academic research offers enlightening data on the present state of sodium ion battery technology. In February of 2025, Columbia University's Dr. Dan Steinart reported findings in Science Magazine indicating a fundamental scalability issue. Sodium ion manufacturers today do not have the requisite manufacturing scale to take advantage of economies of scale. This perspective was reinforced by a January 2025 Stanford analysis of the commercial viability path for SIB sodium ion batteries that concluded that becoming Costco competitive is highly unlikely. Moreover, lithium continues to be the market leader in many industrial applications due to its existing base of supplies and manufacturing infrastructure. Even with sodium ion batteries offering plug-and-play compatibility, altering both production and consumer preference will take some time. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle. Sodium batteries won't realize cost savings until they're mass-produced, but they may never be mass-produced unless they're already cost-competitive. This Catch-22 is a significant barrier to mass adoption. Despite this, sodium ion batteries or SIBs have carved out a potentially unique and strategically vital place in the rapidly diversifying technology landscape. While many other emerging and highly touted battery technologies, such as solid state or lithium sulfur, are still largely mired in extensive laboratory testing phases or remain several years away from any meaningful commercial production, sodium ion batteries are already beginning their tangible launch into the global market. This head start is not a minor advantage. It represents a critical window of opportunity. Aided by the immense capital, manufacturing expertise, and global distribution networks of some of the world's leading battery producers, industry titans like KTL who are making monumental bets on the technology, this compressed deployment timeline places SIBs remarkably high on the technological readiness level or TRL scale. For specific targeted applications, especially when we're talking about stationary battery energy storage systems for grid support and renewable energy integration, sodium ion technology arguably receives a technology readiness level 9 score. That means it's a system that's already been proven successful in its actual operational environment. Its inherent safety profile, which comes from a more stable chemistry that's far less prone to thermal runaway, really makes it an exceptionally strong candidate for storing vast amounts of energy in densely populated areas, or for backing up critical infrastructure where, you know, safety is absolutely paramount. However, for more demanding applications, particularly the electric vehicle market where energy density and weight are non-negotiable constraints, the TRL score remains slightly lower, maybe around 7 or 8, indicating a prototype demonstration in the intended environment but not yet full-scale commercial deployment. While sodium ion batteries certainly face big, well-documented hurdles to clear primarily the energy density gap and the current economic paradox where falling lithium prices challenge their cost competitiveness, their core issues honestly appear to be more solvable through incremental material science and manufacturing innovations than the fundamental physics-based challenges plaguing other next-generation battery technologies in the works. The problems are largely of scale and engineering not of basic scientific principle. That being said, what's your opinion? Do you believe sodium ion batteries have sufficient potential to overcome the significant inertia of the established lithium ion ecosystem and gain meaningful market traction? Or will they remain a niche solution for specific applications? The journey from promising prototype to dominant market force is, well, fraught with challenges, and the next few years will be critical in determining its ultimate fate. Thank you for watching.